What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Ben Bills with Joe. This is Season 3, Episode Number 2, and today we are tackling the Messerschmitt 109E4-7. This is where we're going to start getting some glue and plastic on there. We're going to get some paint going. We're really going to go ahead and start pushing this thing forward, and I'm really hoping that this is going to be easier than the lag, and I'm pretty sure it will be. So like I said, we're going to start off in the cockpit today. I'm just going to do a very preliminary assembly, and we're going to do some painting. I'm not going to do any weathering today. I'm going to let that kind of set for next episode. I've got RLM 02. This is going to be for the majority of the interior color. I know most of the early 109s used RLM 02, then later on was replaced by RLM 66, but we are going to use 66 on the instrument panel and any sort of dials or gauges. So that's going to be where that's going to come into play. Other than that, I have my airbrush thinner and I have my flow improver. We have our airbrush ready to go. So let's go ahead and queue up a time lapse. We're going to start assembly. We're going to do a little bit of alteration on some of the parts here and there, like the seat, and just push forward, get this thing going. As you can see, I went ahead and added in the masking of the canopies. Those are pretty simple masking jobs. They're not really that complicated, so I wanted to get that done because now I have to go ahead and paint everything in RLM02. And I'm planning on going ahead and laying that down over all the parts. They're going to be this interior green color. And I've added a little bit of airbrush thinner just to make sure that this paint is nice and smooth. I'm also going to add a little bit of Flow Improver. Since Joe kind of turned me on to this stuff, I got to tell you, Flow Improver really, really works well for the Vallejo paint. So thank you, Joe, for that tip. Awesome idea. So let's go ahead and mix everything up. We're going to just start painting all the parts and pieces with the RLM02. Then we're going to come back, lighten this up just a little bit with some white, and add some highlights.
And we are back, everybody, and we've overcoated all of our interior work here with a nice gloss coat of Pledge Floor Care, or a future, if you will. Now, we're going to go ahead and let this dry. I'm not going to do anything on it now. I'm going to let it cure for at least like six to eight hours, just to be on the safe side. And then I want to try to come back and do a little oil washing, get some of that Paneline accent by Tamiya, and try some of that out. I just want to have fun with it and see what I can do and what I can learn. So we're going to go ahead and just call it quits for today. I know a little bit of a shorter episode, but I really wanted to jump in on this and just move forward and see what I could do. But we're at a good place to stop. Next episode, we're going to hit that weathering and hopefully close up the fuselage. Make sure to go over to Joe's channel, check out his videos, tell him Ben sent you, drop him a like. He's an awesome dude, great friend, and a very talented builder. So go ahead and check out his build, and we will see you back here on the next episode of Ben Builds with Joe. Until then, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, and build something cool. And we'll see you back here on the next episode. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon.